Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Monday. Yay, it's Monday. We don't have to go to work because we're retired. <laughs> Jerry's so funny. It's Monday, December 3rd, I think, 2019. Jerry came in last night and it was about 8.30 or 9 o'clock and I was sitting on the bed reading your comments like I love to do at night. And he said, there's a basketball game on tonight. I said, oh, really? He loves to watch the Thunder, the Oklahoma Thunder play basketball. I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, but it doesn't start until 9 o'clock. I said, well, why don't you go down and watch it? He said, well, would you mind it? I said, no. He said, well, you know, I don't have to go to work tomorrow, so I can stay up late. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like a little boy around here. <laughs> Every day is an adventure. He's like, I don't have to go to work. Hey, what can I do? <laughs> and you know what I do? I started out making a honeydew list, but then I decided because he was doing everything and I just, it'd be gone, I'd just tear it up and throw it away. And so I decided to make honeydew cards. And so I take these three by five cards and if there's something that's broken or leaking or needs fixing, I'll just make a card for it and I put them on the bar. And so like he comes in and he'll pick up a card and he'll go do it. Like yesterday, I had fixed stair lights. So we have this staircase here. And on the wall uh, that's on the side of the staircase, there's these four little lights that we had the builder put in. And you put night lights in them, and the, there's little grates, and the lights just shine down on the steps. Well, they're forever burning out. They've been burned out for two or three years, probably. <laughs> so I had fixed stair lights. So yesterday, he just fixed all four stair lights, and now you can get up in the middle of the night, and you can see the stairs and walk up the stairs. It's so cool. So today, I haven't even made a card yet. I'm going to have to find something that needs to be done. Oh, I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. Yeah, and he already did it this morning. I didn't write it. We just talked about it. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> you want to talk about how old we are, you guys. Oh, my goodness. You want to know what you do when you're old and you're retired. <laughs> a couple years ago, Jerry gave me the coolest Christmas present. He paid about $800 for it. And I just was super, super delighted. I thought it was the coolest thing on earth. Um, it's one of those robot vacuum cleaners. So he gave it to me. Well, it turns out it's super complicated, and I can't figure out how to do it. And you have to, our house is really open. And if you want it to vacuum the living room, for instance, it'll take off into the dining room and go into the kitchen and get stuck in the laundry room and not be able to come back out. So I never touch it. So um, yesterday, uh, I, said, I didn't write it on a card, but I said, I just love it if you get that machine to vacuum the kitchen. And he loves to use it. So he went and he got it and he got it in the kitchen. <laughs> and so then it runs down. It only works about 45 minutes and it croaks. And so then it goes back to its battery, which is way down the hall in the back bedroom. And it plugs itself in. And so we had to let it charge. So this morning, when we got up, I said, do you think that thing's charged and you could do the living room? Now, the room that I showed you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> it's so stinking cute. We turn the thing on and we just stand in the hall. I've got my coffee and he's just standing there and he's got his underwear on, his t-shirt, and I've got my pajamas on and we're just standing on that white floor that you saw. We're just standing there and we're just watching this vacuum cleaner go back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, turn, go under the chair, turn, come out of the chair, go back over here. I'm not kidding you, we must have done that for 20 or 30 minutes. I thought if Jerry wasn't in his underwear, I would definitely take a video of this. <laughs> so if you need some excitement and your life is really boring, get you, get you one of those vacuum cleaners. <laughs> so, guess what my lightning fast mind thought of today? We haven't looked at all the new garments in the hashtag fall holiday sewing over there at Instagram. So I'm going to set up my computer and I'm going to go there and I'm going to see if I can make it say recent so we can look at all the things that are there that weren't there before. And some of you have asked me what I'm making for Christmas. And I have made two friends gifts now. And I love both of them. They turned out really well. Really well, really good. Viv, is it really well or really good? She's an English major, you know. Um, but I don't want to show them to you until I give them to my friends. Most of my friends don't even watch my videos, but my YouTube friends, if I met you on YouTube, you guys watch my videos, <laughs> so you can't see. <laughs> All right, so let me set up my camera, and let's see what everybody's making, and I'll be right back. Okay, 
We're going to start fall holiday sewing with the pretty Joanne with an E. She made this dress and she really, really loves it. If you go to Joanne with an E on YouTube, you can see it even closer up. It's beautiful. It has this really cool tuck here in the middle at the waist. And she has a waist, so <laughs> it might help if you have a waist. So I just really like that. And what do we have here? We have a little girl. She's precious. It says, Viva Le something. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's supposed to It might be an advertisement. Can they advertise on my Instagram? I don't know. Look at this. <laughs> the little girl that wants to be a mermaid. That's very cute. Very cute. And here's pajamas. Pajamas. Beautiful. I bet a grandma made those. I'm not going to tell you who it's from, guys, because you all can go and look. You all can go and look at these, and there's um, writing for each one. It'll tell you the pattern and who made it and all of that. Just go to Instagram to hashtag fall holiday sewing. This is beautiful. I love it. You know, if it's got flowers on it, I'm going to love it. I really, really like that. I'm going to have to see which pattern that is. Let me see if it says. It says, Love Notions Cadence. Cadence Dress Top by Love Notions. Ah, I'm going to have to look that up. I really like it. And this is, looks like a dress for a doll. I don't know what's with the trims and stuff. Oh, she's got trim on the outfit that's made for that. I don't know if it's made for a doll or a child or what. What's it say? Amazing deal at one of our local Dollar Trees. Bundles of ribbons, including laces, piping, rickrack, and twill tapes. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I may have to go to a Dollar Tree. Who knew? This is gorgeous. Beautiful fabric. It's a plaid dress. Plaid is in right now. I don't want to sew plaid because I don't want to have to match it. But that's a pretty dress. This is a pretty outfit. Let's see if she made both of them. Clown pants, anyone? I have the nerve to post this photo. <laughs> made from soft flannel. Purchased at Hobby Lobby. You are my sunshine on it. My late mom's favorite song. Well, I think those are darling. Darling. Now, guys, I'm not going to be good with the camera if I read everything to you. So, ooh, beautiful. I'm assuming those are Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, oh, oh. Do I need to learn that hobby? Mmm. Beautiful. And here's some, probably a blanket. Let me see. Made a pillow with a handle. A pillow with a handle. There's a little dress. Fun, fun, fun. Isn't this just too fun? There's Sheila in a pretty red top that I love. Let's see. Doesn't say what the pattern is. But turned out great, great fit. And here somebody made a skirt. I don't know if that's showing the whole picture. McCall 7906. And it looks like there's more than one picture. Let's look. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Very cute. Very cute skirt. I like that a lot. And look at she can wear it with so many different. What a great neutral color. That's wonderful. Goes with so many things. Darling with boots. Mm, I really like that. Okay, now here is Margie at the castle, and she's got some, it looks like 3D leaves. Could that be 3D leaves? Sorry if I move the camera when I'm talking, guys. Let me see if she has more than one pick. No, that's all I see. I needed a fall quilt, so I dug out my beautiful batiks. Autumn sidewalk. I don't think they're 3D. There's one close up right there. They are beautiful though. Love that quilt. Gorgeous. Okay, and here is a teddy bear riding a horsey. And so somebody made that cute bear. Oh my gosh, that is darling Margie at the castle. That is so cute. The blonde bear was finished up a week or so ago and the brown bear and fox were from last Christmas. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh 
my gosh that is just adorable I don't know if I have that much patience to make one of those cute mmm pretty topper <gasps> very pretty topper love it I'll have to look at the pattern real fast silhouette patterns Megan coat in knit sheath dress. Megan, oh, I have that pattern. I got that pattern. Mine, I'm gonna make mine a long coat. Oh, darling. Oh, very nice, very nice. Ooh, look at those boots. I've heard about these boots, but I don't know if a 70 year old granny should be wearing those kind of boots or not. House coats. And there's a house coat. Very nice, very nice. House coats are fun to make. Ah, oh, there you go. There she is. I remember Diana Harvey. Yeah. Is that horses? What is that? Let me see. Is it bears? I think it's lots of different... Oh, hello. Not the stool. See, when I take my eyes off the camera, heaven only knows what you're going to see. That is just way cozy and way darling. Okay, and here's another one. Same lady. She's going nuts. Oh, one's cats and one's other animals. She must really like animals. And here she is again. That's another picture. And there's a dog. And they're going to make the dog a coat, I guess. I guess a coat for the dog. If I had a dog, I would do that. Ooh, that's a pretty blouse. That's made by Pam. 22 inch zipper simplicity 9718 sorry I'm not reading all of them guys you can see every time I try to the camera goes crazy so that's a quilt and some really cute dolls to <laughs> the shoes on the dolls is that just the cutest thing and oops see guys I think that's so so cute I just love those I love them love them love them I have to read what that is Finish this evening a Christmas wall hanging. So Christmas, so Christmas, Christmas. Oh, I don't know. She made the dolls. So she finished the um, wall hanging. But, oh, I'd love to know if she made those dolls. Those are just so cute. There's some nice pants. I like the pants. Sorry if I'm wobbling the camera. Go to Instagram, guys. You can look at them all. I like that pattern. I like the... I like... Um, high necks if they do that I don't like them to touch my throat so I really like that that's cute as can be very cute and here's some cute fall leaf decorations <gasps> I bet she embroidered those on her embroidery machine and then she strung them in her window how cute yes she did she embroidered them that is way fun way fun way fun for those of you that can't look these up Oh my gosh, I just love that. That is very cute. Okay, and here is an apron. A fall apron. Lots of pockets. Wow, there's so much more stuff in here. You guys have been sewing up a storm. That is adorable. <laughs> and there's just some fabric. Oh wait, there's some more pictures. That's just a pillow. I made thousands of those pillows. Well, I made, what did I make? 30, 40, 50? I made a whole bunch of them once for a hospital. Um, Rhonda, at Rhonda's Creative Life, was heading it up. And she had a thousand pillows that people sent. And she hung them all out on her clotheslines and took pictures of all of them. It was really cute. That's beautiful. Great, great job sewing that together. Let's see if she made the top. Finished my jumpsuit. Not sure I like it. It's a jumpsuit? That doesn't look like a jumpsuit. Unless the top is attached to the pants. I don't see how that's a jumpsuit. But maybe it is. Very nice. There is a pretty skirt. And here we have... Pants pattern looks like leggings. Very nice. 
It says fleece pants. Use pajama pattern. Tapered legs to fit. Very good. And there is a blouse. And there. Ooh! Wow! Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow, wow, wowzer. Nice figure. Nice dress. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's see what it says under there. I have to read that. A little something, a little something, get this, a little something I whipped up for Glitter Ball. Tis the season for holiday sewing. Sequin knit, so very comfy and sparkly. Added flair to the hem and finished with horse hair. Berta, 6988. Oh, my heavens, she just whipped that up. Of course, in a knit, you know, that, that would be easy. It's the fabric that makes it look so fancy. And there's another doll dress. That was beautiful. Let's see. A real dress like that for me. That's <laughs> cute. And this one is very nice. Love the necklace. Love the necklace. Very pretty. And this is another doll. It's like an angel. Now that's way cute. That is way cute. Yes, it is. And there's a pattern. Hey, I'm going to make that. I have that pattern. Let me see how that turned out. Oh, she, she did give us a couple pics. Let's look. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely to see that on a real person. Yes, it looks wonderful. Here's another pretty top. Donna made. That's a cute one. Cute print. And there is a present. Maybe it's a quilt. Let me see what's that we're looking at. Christmas. Finishes Christmas wall hanging for a gift. I have seen that somewhere, actually. I have seen that somewhere online. Oh, jump. now that's what I call a jumper, you guys. You know, they're over there in England, they call sweaters jumpers. I don't get that. This is what I call a jumper. Love the print. Okay. There's some overalls. Great job. Ooh, look at the findings that she got. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, wonderful. Love the big pocket. And here we have a beautiful outfit. This is by Sew4643. Oh, that is beautiful. That looks just like something I would make. And she doesn't really say. I gotta go in here and give some people some likes. I haven't been here since I last did a video on this, you guys. This is my first look. Beautiful topper. Beautiful. Simplicity. Now there's a jumpsuit. Maybe that's the one that other lady was wearing. And there's a shirt. See and so. Oh, pretty. 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 Can I have that please? Can I have that? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, can I have your hair too? Mm, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You know me and roses. Oh my gosh, I just love that. I've got to duplicate that outfit. Black top, black skirt, and roses. Oh, can I copy you, please? <laughs> now, what's this? Another doll, looks like. Maybe Santa. I guess that's a Santa doll. Here's some pants. They look like they're that new. You know, there's tons of stuff being made in velvet nowadays. I don't know. I figured if I start making things in velvet, it's going to be out of style by next year. <laughs> I don't know. Cute overalls. That's a uh, corduroy. Very cute. That's a dress. Is that a dress? Oh my gosh, that is really cute. Cleo dress. Who can tell me what that is? It's something. Is it something you wrap a present with? What is that? Let's see. My goal for my business, Samaritan Sewer, is to sew and donate for organizations I'm compassionate about. Operation Christmas Child. Yes, I absolutely want to do that, too. Days for the shoebox thing. I saw that at Hobby Lobby, and I definitely want to do that. I used my LRR hood fabric scraps to make several pad kits and took dresses and bows I made. Pad kits. I don't know. I wonder if that's for girls. I don't know a lot about that. Very nice, very nice. So wonderful to use our skills to help other people. I would love to do that. Okay, here's a very pretty topper. Beautiful. 
I like that. Gray is an awesome color. Non-color. Oh, look at here. Here's Papa with a new house coat. Now that is way fun. He's a character, I can tell. <laughs> I made Jerry a house coat once, and it's green. It sure is. Oh, whoa, there. I have started to buy that fabric. That fabric's from Fabric Mark Fabric. I'll bet you anything. And I've started to buy it several times, but I couldn't tell where the uh, the pattern would be. I go back. I might buy that today. By Jigs, that's as cute as can be. That is very cute. I like, wonder what leggings pattern she used. It doesn't say. I wonder if it was that one. Let me see if it's the same lady, Saturday Sewing. Nope. Saturday sewing. I don't know what that's about. There's a the camera going crazy. I'm looking at the screen. Ooh, that's very pretty. Beautiful color, beautiful buttons. This is going to be a long video. i got to go faster, y'all. Ooh, beautiful outfit. Just beautiful. Yellow. I like that very much. Very much. It's fun to see people's houses, isn't it? That's darling. Oh my gosh, that's darling the way she made that. With the asymmetrical buttons and the asymmetrical plaid. That is darling. I love it. Here's a shirt. Raglan sleeves. Here's a lady that maybe made her hat. And that pretty coat. I can't read, guys, or this is going to just be too long. A pretty skirt. Top stitching. Yikes. Another pretty purse and batik. I like to make purses, but then I never use them. I've got a whole bunch of them in my closet, and I never use them. So it's like, why did I make these purses and never use them? That's cute. That's very cute. Oh, skirt. Top. Oh, there's a model. That's very pretty. I like the sunflowers. I can't tell. It looks like it's a top and a skirt, maybe. Very nice. Butterick made an extra large. Oh, it's a caftan, she says. Caftan. Okay. And that looks like, oh, for the kids. For the, the shoebox. That's what I want to do is shoeboxes. I sure do. I love Franklin Graham. You know, that's Billy Graham's son. And he has the Operation Christmas Child, which is wonderful. I looked at it one day. You have to pay $9 for each box for the shipping and everything. And then you buy things and you fill each shoe box up with it. And they tell you what to put. It's like someone made a quilt. I gotta hurry, guys. Gotta hurry. Ooh, look at those tight red pants. Those are sharp. Pretty fabric. Looks like there's another one here. Oh, look at the back. That is really cute. That is really cute. I love the back of that. Cute pattern, you guys. Oh, darling, coffee apron. Very cute, very cute, very cute. Okay, and there is a set. Very nice. A shirt. Oh, <gasps> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. What pattern is that? McCall 7803 out of Charmeuse. That is gorgeous. And there is a cute color block blouse. Looks like for a child. And there's... Hmm, placemat? Fall table runner. Very nice. Oh, there's more pictures. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that quilting on the borders. That is such good quilting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Makes me want to fire up my long arm right now. Great job quilting. Beautiful. I wonder if she did it herself. Doesn't say. And this little lady made a real pretty blue dress. Maybe a top and a skirt. Another doll. Pretty red dress. Beautiful red dress. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that coat. Oh, you guys are really good. Somebody's really into dolls. I haven't looked to see if the same lady's doing all the dolls or if it's different people. Very nice dress there. And it looks like 
boots underneath. That's cute. Cute. Guys, you're going to have to go and look. There's so much. I don't know if I can keep on going and my battery not die. That's cute. Oh, look, Wonder Woman. How fun. That was for Halloween. That is so cute. Great job. And is that other one? Who's the other lady? I don't know who the other lady is. <laughs> I don't know much about cartoons, y'all. Okay, here we are back at the Little Mermaid. Okay, we're starting over again. Yay, that's the end. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> are you worn out looking at all those new clothes? <laughs> Oh, isn't it just great inspiration for us to share the things we make with each other? It is such a great inspiration. I just love it. It is so uplifting to be involved with so many women who love to do the same things I love to do. So, thank you guys for putting all your pictures on Instagram. Remember those of you that don't know where it's at you go to Instagram and then you search for pound size I always call it a pound sign hashtag fall holiday sewing and then you can read all of the comments about all of those garments in there and there's a whole bunch more I just showed you the new ones that I hadn't already seen from last time <laughs> okay so I've got to go back I've got to make several more gifts for several more friends and um I want to get that Christmas quilt on the long arm. I don't know if I will or not because we're leaving town in a few days. I don't know. You, one of you said, I want to see you use your long arm machine. <laughs> so when I start quilting that Christmas quilt, I'll turn on the camera and y'all can watch the machine quilt by itself because I'm going to do a pano on that one and let the computer do it. But I'll turn on the camera and let you see, okay? For those of you that haven't seen a long arm work before. Okay? So, that's all I know for today, and I've got to go get busy making gifts, so I'll be back soon.